How's it going guys, it's Gadget Guy here, and I'm going to be showing you my project I've been working on for probably about 4 days now. Um, if you can't tell what it is already, it is a disposable, well, it's a taser made out of a disposable camera and an Altoid stand. So I'm just going to be showing you the supplies and materials you will need to make this project, and I'm going to go over it with you guys. So, yeah, if you're going to make this, don't use it like you know in self defense well you can use it in self defense but I don't want to be reliable for anybody's actions so please use this safely even though I know you guys won't but you know it's all good this is what this stuff is meant for so um yeah uh, all I did was I used an Altoid sin and one second I'll open it back up. I got a switch, just a simple on and off switch, and I drilled a hole in the side of it for the on and off switch to go, and I installed that into there. And then I got some self-tapping screws and some drywall things. I don't know what to call them. Um, it's for screwing in screws and drywall. And anyways, I drilled. Uh, two holes in the front and hammered in those drywall things and then screwed in those self tapping screws but I had to cut those drywall things down to size because I needed some of the self tapping screws to be sticking out at the end for uh, soldering uh, so yeah all I did was uh, took apart my camera disposable camera and the flash circuit went right here um, you take that out nothing's, hol nothing's holding it in so it'll just pop plop right out and uh, on the bottom um, you'll see you open this up there'll be a metal piece right here and it will be touching these two connections on the you know on the camera itself so yeah, when it touches those two, those two connections, it completes the circuit and powers up the capacitor. So you're going to want to get those two connections, cut two pieces of wire. As you can see here, I got one right here and one right here running to the bottom. That's where the connections are. And I soldered them to the bottom, to those connections, and then I soldered them to the switch. So now when I flick the switch, it charges the capacitor. And I also just see those two prongs on the capacitor. I got two pieces of wire, and I soldered them to the uh, the prongs on the capacitor. Then I soldered them to the self-tapping screws. So when I charged up the capacitor, the electricity would go through the wires onto the self-tapping screws. And then out into the head. So when you touch up metal or conductive like metal or skin it will shock so uh... yeah and then i just used adhesive it's called i just use this stuff no more nails to uh... let's see focus uh... to put the circuit board in to mount it into the container but you're going to want to uh... line your altoids tin all in electrical tape or uh, masking tape because if you don't on the bottom all the connections will be touching each other because you know the metal metal is conductive so it will go all through and then fry the circuit board then it'll be no good so then you'll have to get a new camera and I, unfortunately I learned the hard way and uh, this is my second camera I got ten bucks a piece and, uh, anyways, I put the battery in. It comes with a battery, so you don't need one. And I stuffed some toilet paper in there because it wasn't holding right. So, yeah, when you put that in there, it would complete the connection. Well, it would touch the two sides, positive and negative. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you got any question questions or concerns about this, then just PM me or just 
comment down below and uh, I'll answer them but right now I'm going to be showing you and testing it out so all you got to do is close it flick the switch on you'll hear the sound the whining sound I don't know if you guys could hear that but it makes this high pitched whining sound of that's the noise of charging the capacitor so all you do now is touch something metal against it or shock somebody so ready see that so uh... Wait, you gotta be careful because once even though when you discharge it once it still carries a little bit of electricity in it. Let's see if I can get it to shock again. Nope. But it still carries electricity through it. So don't uh, don't shock yourself with it. Don't assume that there's no electricity running through it even though you ditch discharged it. So uh yeah, that's all for now, guys. Like I said, any questions or concerns any like suggestions on what I should do next and uh, yeah just comment below that's all for now guys peace